Hi dears, today we can see term M Apostle Mathematical Analysis 12.7 section. So here it is given uh, that uh, the matrix of the linear function. So for that T, here T represents uh, total derivative. And we already know that total derivative is a linear uh, function, right? So now we are going to uh, find how this total derivative can be expressed in terms of that is the linear function this is expressed in terms of matrix form that we are going to find it so for that let t from r n to r n be a linear function uh, to show that the total derivative of the function f uh, t determines an m by n matrix of the scalars so for that let u1 u2 etc un denote the unit coordinate matrix in rn okay so we are considering the unit coordinate matrix u1 u2 etc un so that now we are taking x be a element in rn so that x can be written as the linear combination of this unit coordinate vectors that is x1 u1 plus x2 u2 etc plus x and un now the condition of linearity we have yes by the condition of linearity, you can write T of x is equal to T of the value of x is x1, u1, etc. plus x and u n. According to the linear condition, you can split this one T of x1, u1, etc. T of x and u n. And from that, you can take x1 outside. So, T of u1, etc. plus x and T of u n. This we are writing as summation k equal to 1 to n x k T u k. So here t is the function that is the total derivative function is determined on the coordinate vectors here u k right. So u1 u2 etc up to u n. Now we are taking e1 e2 etc e n denote the unit coordinate vectors of uh, r n because we know that t is the function. Yes. So we know that t is the function from r n to r n. Here we took the unit coordinate vectors as u1, etc, un and now we are taking the unit coordinate vectors e1, u2, etc, en in rn, right. So that uh, here we will get uh, since t of uk belongs to rn, is it? Uh, because t from rn to rn, here are the vectors of ui's, so whose images belongs to where rn. So that only it is given T U K belongs to R M. T U K can be written as the linear combination of E1, E2, etc. E M because we consider here E1, etc. belongs to where R M. Okay. So you can write T of U K as summation I is equal to 1 to M. The linear combination of E is that is the scalars here we are taken as T I K. Uh, as like there X1, X2, etc. Here we took T I K into E I. Now we can write the scalars in vertical uh, form. Okay. So here you can see uh, where T on K etc. T M K are the scalars which are the coordinate of T U K. The scalars are written, uh, written in the column vector. Okay. So T 1 K etc. T M K. Hence we can write matrix of T can be relative to the given basis u1, u2, etc., un of rn and e1, e2, etc., en of rn. So, now we are going to write the uh, matrix of T with relative to the basis elements u1, etc., un and e1, etc., en. So, here you can uh, write in the matrix form. Here the column vectors T1, K1, uh, 2K, etc., mk. See here. So, instead of k, here we are writing 1, 2, 3, etc. en. Again, here also you can see k, 1, 2, 3, etc. en. And last also in the place of k, 1, 2, 3, etc. en. Again, here 1, 2, etc. en. 1, 2, etc. en. And all column vectors are same, 1, 2, etc. en. So, which is equal to m of t. So, here you can see that this is the matrix uh, consists of m rows and n columns, right? This is the row which consists of m rows and n columns from this itself. So you can write m of t k is equal to the matrix elements t i k where i k carries from 1. Right here you can see that 1 1 then 1 2 1 3 etc up to 1 n. Similarly you can write that 2 1 2 2 etc 2 n. So so on so on 
uh, the last element m m so that m1 m2 etc t m n so that you can write inside this uh, square bracket or you can write m of t is equal to t i k in the parenthesis also okay so this is the matrix of the linear function next we are going to see that the matrix of two linear functions so for that we are considering two linear functions namely t and s t and s uh, so that t from r and to r n and s from r m to r p be the two linear transformation with a domain containing the range of t so two linear functions for matrix we are going to see so i am taking the composition so the composition here you can say r m to r n to uh, r p right which is defined as s composition t of s is equal to s of t of x for all in r n so uh, we already know that t is the total derivative is linear again the second one s is also linear so from this book we can say that the composition is also uh, linear so that we can write s yes, composition t is a linear now we can see the unit coordinate vectors in r n r n and r p so here we have g n from r n to r n and then we have s yes, from r m to r p so we are going to take the unit coordinate vectors for r n is u i's and r m is e i's and r p is w i's okay suppose m s is equal to s i j so in the last we seen the matrix of the linear transformation can be expressed as m of t is equal to what t i j right the same here we are writing m of s is equal to the element here s i j and m of t is equal to the entries are t i i j okay so s of e k is the linear combination of the vectors so here s of e k is equal to linear combination of here you can see what uh, uh, w1 w2 etc w2 because s is the transformation from r m to r p right so s of e k the elements belongs to where r p r p elements are w i's so you are writing that it is a linear combination of this into w i's right so you can see it as summation i is equal to 1 to p yes i k into w i where k is equal to 1 2 3 etc here yeah. and then t w j so uh, t is the linear transformation uh, you know that uh, r n to r m right so that you can write m of t the elements of t i j right so whose image is belongs to where r m r m elements are here e i's right E, I, so that you can write this is a linear combination of these vectors okay clear um, so that uh, so that you can see here summation k equal to 1 to m t k j into e k for j equal to 1 to 3 etc right? now we are going to find the composition of linear functions so yes composition t of u j okay yes composition t because we know that t from r n to r m and s from r m to r p and we know that s composition t from r n to r p right so here all the unit coordinate vectors are what u i's that we see here r and s unit coordinate vectors are u i's so that really we took here as s composition t of u j okay so u j equal to s composition t that is s of t of u j and t of u j here it is okay that you can substitute so the element summation k equal to 1 to m t k j into e k just an element is given so that we are writing this now summation k equal to 1 to m t k j into s of e k s of e k is already be here so summation s i k w uh, j okay uh, w i and now you can write summation i is equal to uh, 1 to p and summation k equal to 1 to m yes i k t k j into w i so w i and here also you have to write i the remaining everything should insert because here consists of k so you can take all together uh, summation which contain k together okay so that already in the first section we see m of t which is equal to the matrix entries t i j right 
So T consists of what a summation, some T, I, J into E, K. And there we took, this is the only matrix elements. Such a way here also, S composition T consists of this one, but the matrix elements consist of this yellow. Okay, this is the entry, except this and this one. Here you can see, except this and the coordinate vectors, what it is coming here, that you can take. The same way, except this uh, summation, the entries belongs to, this is for M of S composition T. Here you can see that M of S composition T is equal to this value from IJ is equal to 1 to PN. Right? So, so here you can see that M of S composition T is a P by N matrix. Okay? P by N matrix. Where the entries i row and j to column, i row and j to columns of this one, which is the dot product of here, you can see that the elements belongs to where m of s and this t k j the elements belongs to m of t. So, which is the dot product of i row of here, you can see i k right, i row of m of s and here j. So, j the column of m of t. So that you can write that uh, this one as m of s composition t is equal to from this because it is a dot, uh, dot product of. So, you can write it is a product of M of S into M of T. So, this we can say as uh, the matrix of two linear functions uh, or the question may ask us M of S composition T as the product of M of S into M of T or it is a dot product of M of S into M of T. Hope it helps you. Thank you.